Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. So we saw some showers this afternoon and earlier in our day. We are continuing, though, to see some light stuff pushing through. This is currently taking a look. We're seeing some out towards Coleman, starting to see a little bit of drier conditions out towards Tom Green and San Angelo. But still, down towards El Dorado, quite a bit of rain still pushing through. It's going to keep moving pretty much eastward and moving a little north as well. So they'll see a little bit. Our most eastern counties toward Eden and Brady see a little bit more of those rain chances as we go through the rest of your evening. Now. Today was a pretty warm day. We saw 79 for our highs, but it was way before we saw any of those showers starting to come through. There was early in the day, and we start to see that we're just about average, and we're going to continue to see temperatures cool off, actually. We're starting to sit low 70s for us, starting to see a break in those clouds. It's looking westward, seeing some sunshine peeking out just a little bit, which will be a nice way to end our day and continuing to see... Rain is going to be cool us off. We're seeing Ballinger at 73 and 68 Coleman. They're pretty cool because of that rain. Then 73 for here. We're still seeing some 80 and 81 Azono. So still a little bit warm for them, but they'll get cooling off eventually, especially as we go into tonight. Everywhere's going to be seeing some low 50s to mid 50s. We're going to start to see clouds clear out as well as we're starting to see right now. We're going to clear those out, have a nice start to the Friday, and then we're going to be seeing cooler temperatures. 75 for our highs. Clouds start to build back in, and then rain chances come back. They're mostly going to be late on our Friday and overnight and continuing into Saturday. Saturday is the day we have to keep an eye on because for most of the Concho Valley, this is a slight risk for us. So a slight risk of seeing some severe thunderstorms. What that means is some of the storms could have strong wind, have some lightning, and have some hail with those. The timing out of all of that, though, is looking to be early in our day. So until we get there, Friday starting out pretty much partly cloudy skies and cool with those 50s. Then as we go into the evening, starting to see one or two of those light showers early starting to push through. Then overnight, we'll start to see it die off a little bit and then ramp back up for Saturday. That's because of low pressure that is moving north of us, getting us in a warm sector for us as well. Because we're going to get back into the 80s on Saturday and continue that for Sunday. So looking at 6 o'clock, just some showers to start off, but it's mostly staying stronger storms in the northern part of the Concho Valley. Seeing one or two of those areas that are going to be seeing that. And as that moves off to our east for the afternoon, still producing some storms out towards the eastern counties. And then by the evening and into Sunday, we start to clear it back out. So, of course, those could have some strong winds, a lot of rain, and some lightning strikes with it. Then as we go into Sunday, still going to be warm, even though that low pressure is past our area. We're going to be seeing cold temperatures not get to us till next week. That is taking a look. This is the low pressure that is pretty much the thing that's going to be affecting us on Saturday and that cold front. It's not bringing colder temperatures for the Concho Valley. It's pretty much just giving it uplift as we go into next week. The second one, that really, that's the strong cold front we're going to watch because it's going to be bringing us down into the 60s for next week. So plenty of cold air is on its way after that low pressure moves out and we see a second cold front really bring that cooler air from the north. We'll even see some lows get into the 30s as well. So for the next couple of days, still going to be warm and still going to be seeing some nice conditions. So tomorrow, 75 and those rain chances being mostly in the evening and late in the day. Then Saturday, that's their slight risk. Keep an eye out for storms that could have heavy rainfall, lightning, and some hail with those. That's why we have that slight risk early on our Saturday. Then for Sunday, Easter Sunday actually, going to be sunny and warm, 78. Then we get that blast of cold air.